Welcome to another episode of Dara's College Experience, and today we'll be doing a day in my life at USC as an acting major. So today I'm going to take you through Thursday, January 27th, and on Thursdays I usually wake up pretty early for my class at 9, so I wake up at 7.30 and I just kind of scroll on Instagram like any normal person does, get my daily news from Twitter and TikTok, you know. Get out! And that was my cue to get up. So I have to take a COVID test every week, so I decided to do it this morning. Then I get ready, brush my teeth, do all my great morning stuff. And yes, I do use two toothbrushes, gotta get the back of my teeth. That's your quick dentist lesson for today. Then I wash my face, get it all nice and cute. And then I go on to do my devotions for the day. Gotta get my daily dose of the word. But since this is not a morning routine, we'll get into what I do to get ready for my day. So first things first, I pack my bag. Today I had an acting class later in the day on camera, so I brought my ring light thinking I would need it, but I actually did not. The room has a whole camera set up, so I don't even know why I thought I would need it. I thought that was an instruction. And then I brought wardrobe to change into for the self-tape. Um, my professor is really big on wardrobe in acting classes, so I had to bring the change of clothes and a bag to set the scene for my character. Then I packed my trusty computer and water and my lovely snacks, all the things a college student needs to survive. Now I'm just showing y'all my new Air Force Ones, okay? Um, with the anklet. And here's the fit for the day. And then I go ahead and leave out for the day to go to school. Here's my lovely view of LA and USC's village. And they require us to do this thing called Trojan Check, which just makes sure we're good and healthy and we're able to access campus for the day. Then I go to my first class at 9 a.m., which is acting Shakespeare. Jennifer! Sophie! Sophie! And I take that class in one of SDA's more known buildings, which is McClintock Building. Then I head over to my next class, eating an apple on the way to keep myself energized. And my next class is in Wait Phillips Hall, which is a building I honestly just found out about this year. <laughs> and here's me appreciating how good I look in this Writing 340 class. Um, my subject is about writing for engineers. There's a lot of different ones. I chose this one because it was one of the last ones left. And Writing 340 is mandatory to graduate from USC. And then I had a little bit of a break before my next class at two. So me and my friend Jalen, who have writing together, went to USC School of Semantic Arts. She's never been to this side of campus because she's an engineering major. So I introduced her to SCA. And let's just take a moment to see how pretty this school is. These SCA kids are so lucky. They get like a resort. And then we went to their coffee bean and tea leaf and got some drinks. Then I dropped off my lovely COVID sample, test and negative, period and then we went to go get lunch. So I drove us to the Chipotle by campus, which is like a three minute drive and a 10 minute walk, not bad. And I got a quesadilla and two sides. And here's a little story time. So I just dropped my friend Jalen off near her class um, after we got Chipotle. Um, I got a chorizo quesadilla. You know, trying different things. And they gave me two, <laughs> You know what? Chip Jalen could vouch for this. They were a mess today because they closed early because they had a leak. Um, and like, it was just like, it was a mess. Like they were like repeating our order back to us like a million times. They were, they were, you know what? Kudos to all, all workers. Um, been there, done that, you know? So I understand. But um, yeah, oh, I almost dropped my sour cream. <laughs> I'm eating in my car. Let me explain why. So I drove my car to school today. I don't like driving my car to school because I don't have a parking ticket. They want to charge students $500 to pay for parking on a campus that I pay tuition for. So I'm not paying $500 to park on campus. I had an electric scooter 
that used to get me from place to place someone stole it but yeah so my friend i tried to use his kick scooter i was heaving i was sweating it was too much like it's hot. it's always sunny out in la so <laughs> so that wouldn't that wasn't working for me so that happened um and i also got the corn salsa so i parked like in a parking structure that was close to my first class um paid 14 dollars for five hours and so i had to move my car so i'm gonna park in this target parking lot and this is gonna be the last day i drive to school i will have to get used to that kick scooter because this is not a move 14 dollars for five hours that's why i'm waiting out here because i don't want to have to pay so yes i can't wait for you guys to see what i do the rest of the day this is just halfway through my day my day this is the craziest day thursdays are crazy for me they're extremely long and especially today because i have this showcase we're gonna get through it one step at a time so that was my little lunchtime story and during that i actually got an email that i got a part in an sca short film that i had been auditioning for all week so i was really excited then i met up with my friend kennedy who's also my roommate too my bestie at the village this is usc's village and i saw her sitting right in front of this statue looking cute hey like here's ken right there <laughs> And here again is the village. I believe USC built it in 2017, so it's relatively new. It has lots of dorms, home to lots of dorms. It also has Trader Joe's, Target, lots of food shopping places, lots of clothes shopping places. People like to just sit and do homework. It's really just a fun place to hang out. Sunbake. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then we met up with our other friend Layla, who's basically another roommate. She always looks good. Uh... <laughs> and then I went to my next class at the Shrine. It's a three hour class for performance on camera. And it's starting to become probably one of my favorite classes because of the professor and what we get to do. We get to just practice auditioning, we practice self tapes, and it's really just a good class for actors. Here's a peek into the room. There's a camera and different backdrops. All right, so I sadly had to leave that class early to get back home, but that was my acting class, performance for camera. Very fun. I went first, stumbled on some lines, but it's okay. Um, and the professor is really sweet. He's really good. Um, and he told me I did good, so now I gotta prepare for my showcase. Here's my setup. Had to put my ring light on my bed to get the right angle. Here's me looking good, preparing for my showcase. And this is a showcase I did outside of school. Here's a quick tip I'll give any actors watching. You need to take any moment, any opportunity that comes your way. You can't guarantee school to give you opportunities. Um, while you are going there for training and for acting, they kind of really want you to focus on that. So I think that you should take any opportunities that you have to meet agents and other managers that you have while you're also training and perfecting your skill. And then I had a little bit of time, so I watched Sabrina the Teenage Witch before going to my last class. This used to be like my favorite show, so I'm re-watching it, and then I headed to my last class of the day. That was me jamming out to be as I get to campus. And my last class is Theatrical Film Symposium in the Norris Cultural Theater. And this class is four hours. It's six to 10, but it's long because we watch a short and a movie. So this short we watched was Charlie Chase in the Pit from Pittsburgh. And we watched this new movie called Emergency. It's out on Amazon Studios and it was at Sundance. Y'all, it was so good. I loved it. You all need to watch it. And then afterwards, we got to speak to the writer of the film. We got to ask her questions, which was really cool. And this is the format of every class. So I take it for an entertainment industry minor, but I would recommend it to everyone. It is such a good class. And here's my view of campus at night as I walk back to my car. And when I get back to my apartment, I take a shower, I eat some dinner, salmon bowl with rice. This stuff hits. And then I hang out with my friends upstairs because I don't have classes on Friday. Hey. Hey. Show the twist. The twist? Ah, oh, the not yet. Yeah. 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 Are you? <laughs> Take out the van, Emma. Like, this is my roommate's boyfriend, everybody. 
And Kennedy is also an acting major, so she showed me what she learned in fight choreography <laughs> class today. And then we had all planned to watch a movie, but I was so tired from the day. So this is me and Tyler sleeping on his couch upstairs, and I knew I had to go back downstairs and just go to sleep. But before that, Kennedy and I own a production company along with our friend Winton, shout out Winton, and she taught me how to write a script for something exciting coming in the future. Then I did my nighttime routine, got my bonnet on nice and tight, and then I went to bed. And that is pretty much a typical Thursday in my life. So I hope you enjoyed this day in my life on Thursday, January 27th.